Good evening and welcome to Guardians of Gaia with myself, Megan Edwards, on Channel 263 on Cape Town TV. If you're new to the show, you've just walked into the only environmental show in South Africa that focuses primarily on solutions and alternatives to this climate change crisis. We also see how so many communities are doing their part each in their own way. Last week, we looked at South Africa's energy crisis and so many solutions to this problem. We looked at energy preservation, organic bioenergy, and so much more. If you missed it, please check out our YouTube playlist as well. Well, up until now, we've only really considered our relationship as humans with the natural earth. But tonight, we get a little fluffy as we start considering and exploring how we relate as humans to the animals of our planet. If you're lucky to have a furry friend at home, you might have adopted from a friend or a family member. The alternative, of course, has always been pet shops. Tonight, we get into the abuse that's literally taking place behind the counters of many pet shops all around South Africa. According to PETA, pet shops treat puppies, kittens, birds, hamsters, mice, rabbits, and so many other animals as if they were fashion accessories and really sell them to anyone who plunks down a credit card. Most animals sold also comes from mass breeding facilities called puppy mills. They are denied socialization, exercise, and veterinary care. The alternative, of course, has always been animal rescue and adoptions. So tonight, we will meet an organization who's really at the heart of rescuing animals and the adoption process as well, as well as providing some veterinary services to communities. We also look at organizations who are linking them up to their forever homes. My name's Megan Edwards, and this is Guardians of Gaia. If you or someone you know is actively doing your part against this fight to climate change, or if you wish for us to come and tackle a very specific environmental issue in your community, then please email us at gog at capetowntv.org. Right now we meet with Mandy Store, Operations Manager at Tears. Tears is a 22-year-old non-profit organization with a mission to rescue, rehabilitate and reform domestic animals, as well as provide veterinary services to local communities. Stray animals in Cape Town often succumb to starvation, violence and exposure to the elements. Tears Animal Rescue is one of the country's leading animal welfare organizations. My name is Mandy Stoll. I'm the Operations Manager at Tears Animal Rescue. And this is my colleague, Luke. Hi there, I'm Luke Crate, and I'm the Kennel Manager at Tears Animal Rescue. So Tears' main objective is we, we have a veterinary clinic and we facilitate and treat, sterilize, do primary health care for four serving communities, namely Masipumalela, Ocean View, Red Hill, and Freyfront and surrounding areas. So we provide a veterinary clinic all our sterilizations are sponsored and free to these communities and we sponsor our vaccines with the, when they have their puppy or their dog sterilized or their cat. And then all the treatments we do on the veterinary clinic, we subsidize that treatment quite proportionally to about 60%. We will cover the cost and the rest of the cost uh, the owners can pay off. From that, from the clinic, when we have animals that cannot go back to the owners, they then are then facilitated and admitted to our kennels and our catchery. And that's where Lee comes in, and that's the adoption side of Tears. So Tears of Shelter is made up of a clinic, and then the adoption center, which is for the kennels and for the catry. So 21 years ago, Marilyn Hall and our, uh, is one of our founding directors, and Emma Gregory Cook started Tears in the backyard streets of Masipumalela, where they started really basic primary health care, where they did vaccinations and some dips and they didn't have their kennels of their own. They basically used boarding kennels out in Ottery. 
and then slowly they started to get more support and more funding from the community and then we opened up our kennels in Lakavata Road about how many years ago? In 2003 to be exact. So since then Tiz has run a full shelter for the adoptions of the kennel dogs and the cat tree and this is where our, our actual clinic. So our, obviously our mission is to sterilize as many of our community pets as possible and the ones that are abandoned or on, are in a state of they cannot go back to the owners, we then from this side home them or from the clinic side, we'll find them a home. The greatest brutalities that animals face are motorcycle accidents, tick diseases and malnutrition. And far too many animals have to fend for themselves on the dangerous streets of Cape Town. So the, the, the most brutalities that we see or treatments and ailments that we treat in our veterinary clinic is definitely motor vehicle accidents being the most common. And second to that would be tick-borne diseases, such as tick bite fever or the chronic form allergiosis. And then thirdly would be starvation or malnutrition for not being able to, the community pets not being able to feed their pets the correct diet or very little. And so definitely if we go into motor vehicle accidents, we mostly find that the reason for that is they're scavenging the streets, they're looking for food or they're on heat and they want to go and mate and so they get knocked over. I think the, the, the worst condition that kind of makes the most impact and kind of etches into your memory is the dogs that are malnourished, or starved, um, and they have mange as well. It's like a parasite that burrows into the skin, they fur, and they become very itchy. So we've seen lots of dogs, skin and bone, covered in like scabs and crossings. So our biggest challenge at the moment is to try and help sterilize, but besides that help sponsor food to our community and supplement their feeding so that they, they get some, for, some form of food from, from tears of support. But obviously this is ongoing and endless and we can only do so much. So number one goal is sterilize, to sterilize them and then help, help feed their pets. The adoption process with tears is an easy one. Um, we have a great adoption process at tears. Um, families can apply online and they fill out a, an adoption questionnaire. And from that questionnaire, we can kind of gauge and see what their expectations are in their new family pet, what they're looking for size-wise, personality types, that kind of thing. And then we try to match um, the correct dogs with the right families. Um, we do believe in making sure the adoption is a solid one and that the dog's going to be happy and the family's going to be happy as well. So we don't have any returns and um, yeah, we have adoption support. So if anybody needs any help for they're more than welcome to contact us and we can help with any behavioral issues or helping the pet settle into their new home. Um, we charge an adoption fee of 900 Rand and that covers all the vaccinations they've had with us. They're dewormed, defeed, sterilized and microchipped as well. So I just wanted to say that the same applies for the cat tree. Um, so if you want to adopt a cat or a kitten, and we have 140 cats and kittens available at Tears, is to, if you go onto our website, www.tears.org.za, you can have a look under the cats or dogs, and you look at all the profiles of all the kitties available. You make your application online, and, and currently under lockdown, we can do a video home call, so then we can have a look and see if the surroundings are safe, and, and then from that process, you will make an appointment for you to collect your new kitty or your new puppy or dog. With Tears Animal Rescue, stray animals are getting the medical care that they so very much need in order to get adopted into loving homes. But the message that I like to send today is that, you know, in times like this, it's very financially, everybody's struggling. If you feel that you want to have your pet sterilized and you can't get it right somewhere in your area and no one can facilitate or help you, please contact Tears and ask for me, Mandy, and I will assist you and get your pet sterilized because we would like to stop the, over, the overpopulation and animals being born on the streets without finding homes. So please take us up on this offer. If you would like to have your pet sterilized at Tears and we can help you in any way, please contact us. Moving into a bigger facility will save more animals and more saved animals means less suffering overall. In five years from now, the strategic goal for Tears is for us to move from our rented premises in Lakavata Road to our property that we own down the road with the Catries, where we're going to build first class kennels clinic and a cat tree. So in five years from now, we definitely want to be at our new facility. And the main objective is to be able to accommodate and facilitate more sterilization to be able to take in more shelter pets and help that cycle go a lot faster so that the more we can help, the more we can home, the more we can take in. 
Our furry friends really depend on us to be their voices, to call out injustices of animal abuse. To report animal abuse at your local SPCA, please contact them on info at capespca.co.za or you can contact the number below on the screen. We take a quick break and when we come back, we speak to Joanne Lefson, founder of Oscar Ark Wolf Project, a pop-up doggy adoption initiative. Stay with us.